Oh, these gas prices are so out of hand. It cost me just about $150 just to fill this truck up. Oh, this is getting so out of hand anymore, man. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's been a while since I've been on the channel, but we are back officially this time, and I mean that when I say that. Now, the first video... Uh, being back on PC is the homeowner video or homeowner series. That's what we're going to be starting with. I know you guys wanted me to be on Middleburg for the homeowner series because I had a bunch of stuff planned out for M Middleburg, um, but that didn't go as planned. But anyways, here's what we're going to be starting out with: a Chevy K1500 lifted bulgers. Uh, we got a mink welder and our jack there. The Harley Davidson trailer. I'm not going to show you guys what's inside that right now. Let's just say there's some uh, pretty good things in there right now. So what we're going to be doing right now is going to go over to the property. It's going to be a little bit of a drive. But yeah, I know it's been a couple months since I posted a video, but like I said, we're officially back to posting again. Uh, it's going to be some pretty good content, I guess you could say, because I have a bunch of video ideas for you guys laid out. Funny enough, I'm actually getting a property next to the school. I don't know nothing about the property. I don't know if there's anything left there at the old property, but it's for sale by owner, so I'm just going to be looking at it. I'm pretty sure I already got it bought. I'm not 100% sure yet because no money was taken out of my bank account. So This is a property that I've been looking at uh, since we got here. It says it's uh, for sale by owner, obviously. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to be buying it. Like I said, I'm waiting for the guy to get here with the keys. And then we should all be set straight forward. I guess with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and wait for the guy to show up. All right, a couple hours later, and he did show up here. I was just talking to him and gave him the cash, and he gave me the house keys for the property here. So he's just going to be leaving here in a couple minutes. He's just going over a couple things in his truck, and he'll be out of the way here. So I'll go ahead and take a tour of this house real quick. So yeah, this is a pretty nice, basic house. I like it a lot. We got, of course, my bedroom, dining room or the living room and the kitchen here and the dining room of course bathroom look at that view we have of the uh mississippi river over there before i take you guys in the garage there was something that actually caught my attention that was left in the garage because he had no i guess you could say it came with the house because he didn't have time or this space for for it so we're gonna go ahead and open this door here look at that go ahead and open the door here we have a dodge ram 3500 nice truck minus the damages here go ahead and pop that open there we got a nice Cummins in there that's so sick probably gonna be working on this a lot it looks like he got a lot done or he probably got it for a parts truck because that's what it seems to me because it is pretty beat up and banged up here and then what we can do is start unpacking here oh yeah i didn't even show you guys the little workshop shed here so this is where we're going to be storing some of the stuff that we have mainly what everything that's in the trailer right there uh, everything else could probably just go in the garage. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look in the trailer here. We have the old International Garden Tractor. Because I got it on a deal, and I really love these International Garden Tractors. Very nice and reliable. And it'll be really good around the house here. Alright, just got the last of it all unloaded. We got the uh, Harley Davidson just sitting here for the momentarily. Gonna drop the trailer and then move the truck. Still got the jack in there as well. International here, and yeah, I did find one of these for snow for the fun. Because why not? It was I, I found it, it was pretty cheap. So I just went ahead and purchased it and it looked really good. So it's actually a really clean one. So yeah, we're gonna be using that a lot as well. We're gonna be building this up. I don't know exactly how, what I'm going to do with it. Uh, so yeah, we're actually probably going to make it like a good looking SEMA truck maybe. I, mean, I already got a truck over there as you guys can see. Uh, so yeah, we're just moving in. I have a bunch of other things that I would like to actually go ahead and purchase. But I don't know if I'm going to be purchasing it right at this minute. Could probably put some thought into it because why not? So that's where we're, that's where we're standing on the homeowner series at this minute. Um... Yeah, we gotta take this sign down, not too worried about it at this second. Uh, but yeah, this is where it stands on the homeowner series, and I will catch you guys maybe in the next couple of days here. Alright, so it's been a couple of days here, and everything that I ordered for the, you know, say garage is actually here today. So what I'm gonna do is put a lot of this against the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in here. I also got vehicle ramps because I figured I'm gonna need it since we're gonna be re rebuilding a Dodge here too. So I'm gonna go 
ahead and put everything in the garage and I'll be back with you guys here momentarily. Alrighty, and just like that, we got the whole garage set up. We got all of our tools, all of our parts that we need. We have our welding tape, or another MIC welder down there, our MIC welder right here, our uh, man cave, man cave fridge. We have all of our oils, oil filters, sprays, everything we need. We also have our um, air compressor. Uh, so yeah, we got everything done. Uh, everything in the garage we got the Harley put away the truck right here and uh, Yeah, we got everything done and I still need to take the side down. I know it's been a couple days But doing that here shortly it's been about three and a half weeks at the house here and I just got Partially way through of the Dodge Ram uh, 3500 here got you know brand new tires uh, the brand new motor in it got the uh, brand new hood that in the bed there and yeah so I had to pick up a few new things here but let me go ahead and move this back into the garage here Alrighty, so we got that backed up in the garage. It's gonna be somewhere. It's gonna be at the used car lot down the street um, because I'm gonna be looking at a truck and possibly buying a truck. So that's why I got the Harley out here. So we're gonna go ahead and hop on the Harley and then I will catch you guys down at the used dealership. Alrighty, and we have arrived at the used dealership here. So I'm. Ooh. Hello. That's square body. That's a nice looking square body. Now I remind you, these are all used vehicles. I know some of them don't seem like they're used, but trust me, they're used vehicles from people that didn't want them anymore. Uh, high mileage and stuff. And oh, look at this. This thing, yeah, this thing cut catches my eye. I like, love this. What did I say? Silverado. I thought I said Suburban. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be picking this one up or either that one. I kind of want both, but I can't. I can't really get both right now. Um, I'm pretty. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I can get both. It, I mean, it doesn't matter. I kind of want the square body a lot more, to be honest with you. But the deal has been done, as you guys can see. I'm in the square body. I didn't realize batteries in my camera died, so I'm just now picking up where I uh, left off at. But yeah, anyways, the deal has been done. The square body's mine, and then we are back home. Uh, yeah, like I said, we got the square body. I'm just gonna leave the Harley in there for now. Next thing that I want to do is put up my patio, my grill. I might just put it right exactly like right here, cause it's a small yard i don't really have a lot of yard so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here and then back here i would like to take out some of these bushes so i have a clear spot of going down to the river um at night and then set up a campfire like maybe right around here just trim off some of these trees and whatnot and then make it look a little bit better so i you know i can have some parties and whatnot and just in case i get a boat at least i have a free boat ramp down to the mississippi river Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this project underway. All right, guys, we just got the uh, patio all laid out for our cookouts and our hangout area with, you know, friends and uh, whatnot. So this is what I went with. Looks really good. I liked it, how it turned out and everything else. Now behind the house, I made a little trail going down to the river here. And then we have our bonfire with our homemade benches here and then we have another path going right towards the river area if you just want to hang out and fish here. But yeah, that's everything we've done around the property so far. But I think that's going to be all for today, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.